Have you ever played Shadow of the Colossus? Uh, I actually own the PS4 remake on PS5, and I've yet to touch it because oh I was, my goodness, I was busy playing uh, the Last Guardian. That's a play, bro. Shadow of the Colossus, one of my favorites, actually. Really? I remember just watching my brother play it a lot as a kid, um, okay. and struggling. Oh my god, the damage! The damage is crazy. All right, I'll I'll carry on the combo. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I really wanted to get into it, but I, you know, as I talk about, I'm playing a thousand and one things. Same. And so bro, I've yet time. to I've yet to touch it because of reasons. Um, yeah, no fucking time. So I started. What did I keep? I've resumed Final Fantasy VII this week because of the uh, Rebirth trailer. The remake or the original Final the, Fantasy VII? So I started the okay. So I started the original, and then I played the remake. For like a little bit, but it didn't click with me, mm -hmm. and so I play. I tried to start it again and again a few more times, and it just it still hasn't really clicked. And I, you know, after playing sixteen, I've been on a big Final Fantasy kick, and I saw the Rebirth trailer, and I was like, all right, like I'll give I'll give the original another shot. So I'm playing through that because I want to play Crisis Core, mm -hmm. frankly, and then I can play the remake. Um, but I, I like I started Starfield, and I, excuse me, I put it on hold. Because it's... <sighs> it's not to your liking. It's not that it's not to my liking. It's that after playing Baldur's Gate 3 for like a month and a half straight for three hours every day, it's just like a little much right now. Okay. You know, like I just don't think I can stomach it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I can't stomach a really big ass RPG again. Okay. So it's just too much game right it's now. It's too much game. Exactly. Like I want something a little bit more linear and Final Fantasy 7 will provide that because I'm following like a walkthrough online. Like I really care about the story and less like the, the, you know, PS1 exploration aspect where like you're stuck wandering around for three hours because you forgot to read a text box mm. or talk to some like random Joe Schmo in a town, you know, like that's not something I really want to deal with right now. Right. So I'm following a walkthrough, um, which I'm fine okay. with. Some people, some people are like, Oh, yada, yada, yada. But like, that doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. I think you're valid. Thanks. <laughs> I know I am. Is that Gohan? That is Gohan. That's future Gohan that's though. Yeah. It's future Gohan. Okay. They do some future, uh, stuff. There's like two levels where you're like in the future thing, even though it's like a one hour special. Gotcha. And, uh, and so yeah. what's interesting about future Gohan is like, does cell just not come in that timeline? Oh my goodness. I got to go through all the timelines. Um, he does not show up yet in that timeline because I believe he shows up after future Gohan is dead. Oh. So, oh my god, I'm going to get the timeline wrong and then everyone's going to laugh at me on the internet. There are four different timelines and I can display the timeline chart on the screen right now. Um I don't there's no shot I can possibly get it right. Here is my best recollection of the timeline and uh I can laugh at myself later along with the audience. Any, you know, Dragon Ball buffs out there? Um there's the timeline that we see, basically, right? There's the timeline of, uh, you know, Cell is, like, there and everything. Cell is uh, fighting in the Cell games and everything. That's one timeline. Like, the, the one that we, like, all know, you know, know well and stuff, right? That's one of the timelines. There's a timeline where Trunks goes back to the future... Because, like, in the Android Saga, right, he leaves for a little bit, and then he comes back, right? Yeah. After, like, the androids are destroyed, like, um, like, Jiro and, uh, 19 and stuff. Is that the Goku Black, uh, timeline? <sighs> the Go- I don't know. I don't know which one the Goku- The Goku Black timeline is, like, his timeline that we know to be his timeline. So, I- it would be the same timeline as the Cell timeline, I think. But I think Weird. also the Goku Black thing kind of breaks the timeline, like, theory and, like, how it's set up in Z. Okay. Um, but that's a that's a story for another time. So, in any event, he goes back in, in the future. Yeah. Back to the future, if you will. Back to the future. Because they... So, he goes back to the future. They find that there's, like, another time machine, right? Like, during the thing. I think Trunks is with them for this. They find there's another time machine with, like, a fucking egg in it, right? 
there's like a there's like a cell egg. So the, it turns out that at some point Trunks went back to the future, and then Cell like fucking killed him in the modern day, because that's like the Cell from like the future Trunks timeline where like Goku, Go, uh, sorry Gohan dies and everyone else dies. Okay. So that Cell like just fucking like kills Trunks and then uses the time machine to go back in time. There's a timeline where. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm, it's already wrong. Guys, it's already wrong. Please don't. Please don't report this channel. Dude, they're... For misinformation. The fucking Dragon Ball fans are going to eat you alive, dude. I think in all honesty, Where even if I go? looked... I don't fucking know. Even if I looked at the timeline right now, I still couldn't, like, decipher the whole thing. It was, like, already hard to understand to begin with. And this was all animated. Um, so we don't see some of the timelines. Oh, they just, like, talk about them? They, they talk about them, and they are implied to exist because of how the events work and stuff, and because of some of the dialogue. Interesting. Um, there's one timeline that we just completely don't see also. And I forget which one it is. But I'm really disappointed you couldn't recall this knowledge off the cuff. Oh, my God. You know, like, I, off the record, if we're, if we're, like, you know, in a Discord call, I can recite any Dragon Ball knowledge with no problem, with, like, no difficulty something about turning the cameras on something about like recording the shit it's got me forgetting shit you know wow but but you know it is what it is yeah that's life you know when it comes time to really own up to be to be your own man it uh shit just goes wrong sometimes you know yeah it does then you can go super saiyan and i can't i can't go super saiyan yet though Dude, how many fucking enemies are there? I don't know. I'm pissed. Masenko, huh? No, it's burning attack. He does. Yeah. yeah. Trunks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trunks is my favorite Dragon Ball character. I've talked to you about this, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Future Trunks? Yeah. Well, specifically just because I like time traveling characters. And so. Okay. And like, you like Silver the Hedgehog, too. Love Silver the Hedgehog. Who is like definitely based on Trunks. He's just Trunks. He's, he's Trunks for Sonic. Yeah. Alright, I don't think we need to collect all the Z-Coins. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm getting we tired. We at least need the combo shit. We at least need all the combo shit. Which I think we almost have. I think we only need like we need like 20 total Z-Coins, which we already have. I think we have. only need 19 at this point, dude. Really? Oh yeah, it's a 9 and a 10, right? Yeah. I think there okay. might be a combo thing Fuck after it. that, though, if I'm not mistaken. I don't Shut remember. Shut up. You're there joking, might right? be. Because I don't see the combo that I was talking about, where it's four hits and then another thing. Unless you have to unlock that thing in the upgrade shop later in the game or something. No. I don't remember. There are still enemies in this area. There are still enemies, in this, still enemies in this area. Attack. Trunks is just cool, bro. I agree. I never said he wasn't. And then he's the only Super Saiyan that gets like swole when he like turns Super Saiyan. <laughs> so do you, do you know like the, the lore of like the super form? No. Because they call it Super Trunks, right? So, and then sometimes they call it, like, Power-Weighted Super Saiyan. Um, so, they explain that in... <coughs> <coughs> I'm good. Victorian child. Mm -hmm. You good? <laughs> I'm good. I have the... I gave you the waters, right? I don't think you've yeah, had a sip drink of them. <laughs> Just drinking Monster the whole time. Jesus. Um, I'm a performer, That's man. Right. Um, yeah, they explain... <laughs> for 20 minutes straight um they explain in the cell saga that there are the way that super saiyan works basically like you or right. the way that like ah, fuck. think think i have to think i have to think 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 jimmy neutron brain blast yeah. think think careful spongebob careful spongebob <sighs> so they they discover a new form of super saiyan basically that they I think they think is like Super Saiyan 2 or they think is like stronger where you have the power of Super Saiyan 2 essentially but then you you lose out on a lot of speed mm. so you you don't reap the benefit of like the speed um, Trunks uses that form against Cell and then so does Vegeta I think for a second and then he stops oh yeah Vegeta gets swole too yeah and then and then while that's happening Goku like is demonstrating it to Gohan and he's like He's like, but of course that form would never work because it's too slow. It wouldn't be good to beat Cell. And like any fighter would know that, blah, blah, blah. And then Trunks is out here doing that shit. <laughs> and it's kind of to show that there's like a, 
you know, there's like a disparity in power a little bit between like Vegeta and Trunks and stuff. And even though Vegeta is like right about, no, sorry, even though Trunks is right about being like Vegeta, don't fucking, you know, provoke Cell and like make him transform. He's still like kind of outclassed a little bit. So that's why Vegeta is like, I'm right here because you're not strong. So what are you talking about? Damn. Uh, let's let's see the upgrades here. Let's see if we can finish it. Finish can we, it. Can we do it all? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh shit! No, this is the last one. BB then hold Y. Okay. Or BB. Oh, sorry. Or Y Y Y Y then hold B. This is gonna be the best combo of all it time. It is. It is. It's really good. Boom. 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 Bob. Bob. Oh wait. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, here it is. Uh, yes. That's the one I was talking about, man. It fucking rocks. It does good damage, too. It's like the one combo that actually does good damage. Dude, it's <laughs> over for these androids. 